Oh man, this dude has the most garbage towers. He ha he has a uh, commander, which is very good. But the problem is that he only has the uh, punk dude and the motor, and those are both awful towers to start with. So I'm definitely gonna rush into this dude. I'm pretty much just gonna be doing a challenge where I win just by simply sending, and I'm gonna try to vote for the shortest maps because if it's a long map. It's okay, so they're gonna lose on long maps still, but it just requires a lot more time. And the problem is that they can spawn in like a like two motors or two punk dudes, which I'm sure is gonna do a lot better job than uh, waiting for a commando. So, yes, I'm gonna vote for Grasslands, which is a very short map. I think this dude is my fan, but you know what? No mercy will be shown. Oh, let me just get in my chair real quick. Damn it. Yeah, this dude's cl clearly a fan. Sorry, bro, but you know I had to do it on him, so I'm not gonna send. At all. I mean, I, I'm not gonna deploy defense at all. I might replace the flamethrower with a with a scout next time because I definitely need that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and send. Just gonna send. His cheapest tower is well, pretty much garbage. He has the the uh, the the motor and the Halloween special tower, which that is a pretty awful tower. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, gonna go with cheap towers for now. Definitely cheap towers. Okay, he's not sinning. He just wasted all his money on defense, which is very good. Very, very, very good for us. Uh, let's see how much damage he's doing. So my normal zombies are still getting... No, way, no. He's going to one-shot any normal zombie that he gets a splash off. Because, uh, well, as long as they are hit, the burn damage is going to kill him off slowly. But still a lot of zombies leaking through, so I'm not worried at all. Speeders are going to help me out as well. As long as he doesn't sin, I, I, I will be fine. Because I can survive a lot longer than him. He, on the other hand, is not doing so well. That's a lot of normal zombies. Any speedy dudes, these speedy dudes have a crap ton of health. I, that's it. it, it it's, it's game. I, I, I think I'm pretty sure I'm one. Even if I get too extremely low health, it's not going to matter because he's about to go down. And we won. That was a GG. We, we literally won. In less than five minutes, I'm pretty sure it's like around two to three here. Let's see, let's see what it says on the top. Oh my G G disc. Oh, <laughs> cool. The like, game only lasted 1.6 minutes, and we're, we we already beat down that dude. Go cool, very one. That was not hard at all. But I'm definitely gonna swap out these towers because I'm not. I'm not interested in the farm or anything. I just need the cheapest tower possible. Crow Gunner is the cheapest tower, but that is also extremely garbage. The Scout is actually possibly the closest, cheapest tower you can get. Hollow Boomer is garbage. Mercenary costs too much. Flamethrower is the best, cheapest tower, but then again, I don't want to invest into that. I'm trying to get some good deals. Patrol is good, but it only lasts us for so long, so I'm not going to have that. Shotgunner is is okay but it's so damn close range i'm not interested in that either i'm just interested to win but if i can't win i will be forced to deploy some regular defense so i'm just gonna get the uh, scout flamethrower farm and also a dj i guess for the uh, cash reduction that's all i'm gonna do so if i do need to play normally i do have the dj to back me up and i can play normally with that the scout is just there just in case they sin a bit and i might die too fast all right this dude's cheapest tower is a patrol so his weakness is strong oh man he left damn i mean oh yeah i got i got a good a good amount of losses but that's because i lost on purpose so oh his cheapest tower is patrol damn it please stop leaving his cheapest tower is patrol and he nope they all keep on leaving patrol patrol is all, oh it's the same dude just leaving and joining back at the last second. Nice, bro. Thank you. Oh, man. This dude's gonna lose easily. He has a motor. That's his, that's his cheapest tower. It's a motor. Mine's a scout. So, if he does focus on sinning, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and respond with a, with a scout. Uh... His cheapest tower is a motor. That's... That's really terrible. That's a... That's awful. Ooh. Acon. Or Dead End Valley. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't want as good. I don't want to choose. Well, uh, the uh, thing is that that other dude never joins, so I'm not even gonna bother to place on any defense. I'm just gonna purely focus on offense, and it's gonna be no surprise that I won pretty much instantly. No, look at that long marchy band of zombies. That's a. That's a. That's a small amount of zombies, though, to be honest. <laughs> guys, get it? Sarcasm, the best humor. Get it, guys? Right? Speedy dudes would honestly be better than a 
normal for splash damage. But the problem is, is that, well, speed user unlocked that wave four. But the only thing that can really counter my rush right now is flamethrower, because flamethrower wins over everything and has a bit of trouble dealing with speed use. So if they have a flamethrower in their deck, that's it. I lost and I can no longer early rush. Even strong use are not that great. Unless they place the flamethrower incorrectly and they pretty much suck and well then that's the only reason where I can win. This is Shiba Sauer is a soldier and shotgunner and patrol. So those are uh, those are actually pretty good towers right there, especially the soldier. Soldier wait, how much does soldier cost? Because soldier is better than scout by long shot. It's actually not that expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that and replace the scout with that. The soldier is actually way better. Or scout. Oh I'm not sure. Uh, well I'll find out. Anyways. Cool, again, I join a game and no player spawn. How cool is that? Again, no surprise, I won. Wait, how long did I take? It should have been less than 1.5 minutes. Hold up. Let's see. Nope, I was barely wrong. It glitched and, okay, I, I join a lobby with no one in there. I join a lobby with no one in there and I just started by myself? Are you serious? This is the third time in a row where I just join a game by myself. Guys, you wouldn't actually believe it, but somehow, somehow, I won. Cheapest Tower's flamethrower, and I'm gonna lose against this dude. Yeah, I'm gonna lose against this dude, because once he plays down the flamethrower, that's it, that's game. I can rush him. So, what I can do is just simply play the game normally and then rush him when I can. So, this is this actually the first time where I cannot rush this dude? Unless he just doesn't deploy the flamethrower. Oh, he's got a short map pawn. Yeah, pawn. If he deploys like a farm and then uh, and then uh, starts to upgrade that, I might have a chance to like do massive damage to him or make him place like the flamethrower in a really garbage spot to the point where it's like not really that useful. If Midnight Rogue gets accepted, that's gonna be a pain because there's pretty much good spots all over the map for the uh, flamethrower. It's just pretty much any corner works. Any corner is a valid spawn point. So let's see if he does a flamethrower or the farm first. Looks like he looks like he's gonna save up for the flamethrower or not. He's not gonna actually engage in the uh, farm. So yeah, I'm gonna have to buy the flamethrower if he deploys a flamethrower. Flamethrower, 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 flamethrower. Uh, I'm not sure what that dude's doing. He's not deploying anything. I'm gonna wait for speed dudes. I'm gonna invest my cash all in the speed dudes. For now, I'm gonna buy a soldier though for sure, cause uh, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to wait too long. So I'm gonna invest in. Yeah. So he bought a flint. That's why? Why? That's the most stupid spot. Oh, stupid! What a what a dumb spot. Come on, bro, 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 bro. This right here would have been a 20 times better spot. Right here is horrible. Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this dude down to the ground with, with a bunch of speedy dudes. I'm pretty sure I could go with the uh, normals as well, but I don't want any normals to die. So I'm just gonna go with speedy dudes. That's it. it just, man, why? why? <laughs> he, he had the only counterable tower to my deck, but he, 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 he can't even use it properly. Holy crap. See, this is why I buy the speedy. See how the speedies are not getting targeted. Oh my god, they, they sometimes do, but it's not like a guaranteed chance. Normals, I'm pretty sure that would have been a guaranteed chance, but look at that. Uh, oh wait, is he sending? No, he's not. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh man, my speedies are starting to die off. Hmm. Looks like there needs to be two speedies sending. Yeah, like, like that. So it seems like... It slowly creeps up, and then the flamethrower just becomes worthless. That's what it seems like it appears to be doing. Nice, 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 nice. Let's, okay, let's see. Let's see if he's sending or not. I don't think this dude is sending right now. Nope. Not sending, but I am. I don't care. <laughs> His flamethrower is filling reach. So, he, so there is a, a chance of him just deploying another flamethrower, which I just thought about right now, but I don't think he's going to do that anytime soon. He's just losing. I think he's too poor to afford... Uh, he didn't buy the gas mask, so he should have enough money, but he did upgrade his farm to tier 3, which is that uh, Minecraft water thing, and we won. We won, despite him having the only counterable tower to our spam sin. Wow. That is wow. Okay, that game only lasted 2.6 min uh, minutes as well. That's... Good job, bro. You had the only counterable tower, and you placed it in the most garbage way. Remember, kids... 
corners are the best spot to place in. Never on the sides. Jenna has a patrol and a commando. Wow, that is that is a unique blowout. I've never seen that before. For only two towers. Tuber is actually a threat. Uh, Tuber struggles on speedies. No, it struggles on normals. Yeah, so I'm just going to spam rolls with this dude, and I will win pretty much. He does have some other towers that are pretty dangerous, but again, that doesn't matter if you rush a guy, because they're not going to be able to afford that. Hopefully this dude deploys the farm first, so we can just simply milk him with the uh, lives he got. So, okay, pawn for sure. Those are outskirts is, uh, is actually not a bad map either, but Western would be the total downfall, and I do not like that, just because it's such a long map. Uh, yeah, pot is a good map because a tuber it can be placed down right here in, in the middle and cover lots of track space. While here it can't do the same really, but what? Uh, but what? Western it would pretty much just cover. Oh wait, he he, he voted for the uh, pawn. What a what a dumbass. Nice. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, I'm just gonna spam normals, spam normals, spam normals. Cool, 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 cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, he might. Uh, I just realized that the another possible chance of what a dude might do is that is actually respond back with spamming, and I can counter a spammer just by simply, well, deploying the soldier. Scout. Scout's not really that great. It can't really take down hordes really fast. And flamethrower is good too. It's probably the best thing. But the problem is that the price is going to set you back. And I don't want to be too costly right now. He just deployed a tuber. So he can't really focus on offense right now. Well now he can with this weight bone he, he just received. He is going to damage my... my uh, the rest of the roll is always down to one, one health I think. Oh wait. No he uh, one shots all. Oh wow. He, uh, oh wow. Tuber is actually really good. It one shots as well with the spread damage. That's actually not too bad. I thought that the tuber only did like three damage, but no, it one shots with the spread doing four. That is actually really good, but it's still not fast enough in order to cut back on the wave. I'm gonna start sending, sending speedy dudes now because it's kind of it's kind of dumb sending normals when they just die too fast. Speedy dudes, you you would get a lot more out. Okay, let's see. Is he sending? I think he is. No, he's not sending. Huh. Okay, just the default spawn thing. I mean, uh, default spawn things. Doesn't really matter. I have. 60 health. He has 40 health. Uh, that's a lot more zombies on my side than it is on his side. I might actually lose. Uh, yeah, I'm actually losing. So I'm gonna deploy a soldier. Oh crap! No! 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 Okay, I might actually lose because I don't have enough money to buy a soldier. Damn it! I should have kept a scout. This is gonna be a really close game. No, it's clear that I'm gonna lose. Oh wait, come on! Come on! Please! Please! Oh! Oh! I barely won! I barely won! I barely won with four health! Four health and I barely won! Wow! I barely won! And I can't drag out a soldier. Well, nice. Like I'm clicking on a trash can and it's not working. Oh, you know, just a regular day waiting for a deal. Okay, his cheapest tower is mercenary and jeep. So mercenary would actually cut back are my normal zombie horde by a lot and jeep is really annoying to deal with as soon as you get that tier 2 thing that's it uh the uh normal way zombie starts to become worthless and you're for in your force to uh, respond with strong dudes but thing is that uh if it's a short map patrol shouldn't really be too much of a problem yeah like grasslands the jeep is not gonna last that long and you're gonna be able to push in way more so hopefully grasslands gets selected if city gets selected it's gonna be a bit hard but not totally impossible Cool, city got selected. I hope that dude deploys the farms first. Let's see what he does. He's deploying a jeep first. Uh, I don't know if it's safe to respond with normal zombies. Or... There's no response with normal zombies. Screw it, man. Who, who cares? This is yellow. Yellow, bro. We learn from our mistakes. Rise and shine, gamers. We will learn from our mistakes. I really hope he doesn't upgrade to tier 2. Because if he, if he upgrades that patrol jeep to tier 2... It's pretty much a loss. Right now, it's only 25 health, which is not too bad. You know, it takes only six of these zombies. I mean, uh, seven of these zombies in, in order to get killed by it. I mean, uh, seven zombies to kill. Yep, but he just got tier two. So that just ruined my entire rush. Because now it's going to require uh, 14 normal zombies in order to beat him down. Wait. No, a bit more than that. So L still, because I have to invest so much more money into that. I think I'm going to buy a soldier. Oh, wait, I could buy a flamethrower. 
No, nah, I'm gonna buy soldier. Yeah, just 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 for some defense. I don't want too much defense because flamethrower is costing a lot, and he's not sending, so I'm not too scared. I just need to hold back a bit so he so I don't receive too much damage. Right now, I am currently winning though, uh, as in terms of me sending out zombies, but he's winning as in terms of health wise because he has not received nearly as much damage as me. I received a lot more damage compared to him, and I'm gonna stop sending right there because now I need to focus on. Well, no, I could I could just start spamming more. I need to get more zombies to the front line, so I'm going to start spamming speedy dudes. Oh, and he got C4 as well. Nice. Not a bad choice. Just one shot a bunch of normal zombies. But now all these normals are just going to start piling in. And now it's the perfect time to send in some speed demons. He's lower in health, so now I'm winning. Slow oh, man, slow dudes tick tick. I am years to get here, so I don't care about the... Ah, crap, I'm poor. No need to fear. I'm now richer. Uh, oh, he bought two Jeeps. Not a bad choice. Utter, not a bad choice at all, my man. Uh, is that another... Oh, crap. Those are both tier three. Uh, wow. That is actually very annoying. I think I'm going to win regardless. I was like, getting a bit... Oh, I won. I won still. So... Ooh. <laughs> oh. It's the same dude as before. No, wait, no, it's leave. It's leave. Damn it. Funny, it's on the same exact map where I beat him on. On, I mean, where I beat him down on the ground. Not sure he's gonna make the same fatal mistake of placing the flamethrower in the exact same spot. If he does, that is really stupid. Okay, let's see what this Albert Einstein does. Thank you. Thank you, you learn from your mistakes. You're not you're not dumb. So now I am forced to respond for flamethrower as well, and now I gotta play defense. Cause if I send it's it's lost, bro. It's a waste of money. He's just gonna one shot everything I have. It do, it doesn't matter. So I'm not gonna play normally and I'll probably just boss one Russian probably. I think I still rush to do with a bunch of speeds over here. Let me send in like six or like well, I like like twenty of them and I think I I think I should be able to should be able to win if I just spam speedies because event because eventually the flamethrower is gonna fail and I'm just gonna start uh, building up. Nope, I think I think I'm just wasting money at this point. Well, don't worry. Oh wait, nope. Now we're starting to win. Cool, cool. We're starting to win now. And those slows. Ooh, the slows and the and the speedy combo. Nice. It's gonna be an epic victory royale because those because uh, those slow dudes are gonna push in and, and they're not gonna receive that much damage and the flamethrower will be too busy. Locking on that when it's like at the end and my speed users are just going to slip on by and start naining him. So pretty good trade off. Not too bad. Did he upgrade the flamethrower? No, he didn't. It's just a lot more crap burning than usual. Very interesting. Slow dudes did not receive that much damage. Well, uh, wait, crap. They're just going to be left on one health. Actually, some of the slow dudes are going to die. Oh, man. It wasn't as perfect as I wanted. I'm like, yeah, some, some of the slow dudes are like left more than normal HP, which normal HP would be one health. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. It's not a good trade-off whatsoever. Nice. I could also push with slow dudes, but at this point in time, I pretty much lost because he upgraded his farms too much, and there's no way to return. So now i got to focus on defense and focus on on, on cash now, because if I try to push in with uh, with some with some more attack, I'm just going to waste money, because at this point, it's not even worth it to sin in no more. It's... Like, only a few zombies got in. Not that much. Not worth it. Usually at this time, I would place it on Gold Link Metal, but I don't have Gold Link Metal. I have garbage. Because I post, I put in all my money into sending. So this is actually the first time where my where my strategy did not work. We did we did do some damage, but it's just not worth it uh, in order for the cost. So some slows did escape, but it gave it one health, so it doesn't really matter too much. I don't know if we're going to be able to get Gold Link Metal this fast. Because uh, usually I would get it by wave 10, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Maybe we sell these two towers after I get one grand from this. Maybe, but I'm not too sure about that. Because Golden Commando is the only tower that I can save right now. Soldier can, but I'd rather try and save for the Golden Commando. Okay, I deployed Golden Commando, and I got that afforded. So now I'm just going to pretty much get the C hidden, and we are good. I sold all my farms and stuff though. He has a lot more farms than me. He has three farms. He might actually have the upper hand currently, but I will achieve the greater hand. Okay, I got a BRB though, so I'm not sure if I'm going to die from being AFK or not.
I just got back from being AFK, and I'm actually surprised that I'm still alive. I was only going with one Golden Commando, and there's already like a bunch of boss ones going on here. And while well, I just deployed more Golden Commandos, and now I'm pretty much solid, I gotta get more Golden Commandos so I can de detect self, because um, the self bosses are a threat. Gotta go AFK again, but I'm really surprised that I just went AFK, and I still survived with only one Golden Commando. Boss ones were already, cre were already creeping up here, so... Very good, I came back online. Uh, the other opponent is doing good as well, just dead spawn killing and a lot of, a lot, a lot of farms. That is a good amount of farms right there. So props to him. I'm gonna get another Golden Commando, I guess. And then I'm gonna go AFK again. Well, actually I'm gonna upgrade it to Fruit of Future, and then I'm gonna go AFK, because I don't think I need another Golden Commando. I'm pretty much solid now. Um, with Golden Commando, you don't need really worry about it too much. It's just, it's just more to stealth bosses because if there's like three of them, there's going to be causing huge threat right there. But, but thankfully, I have these two stealth detecting gold panels. So yeah, I'm pretty solid. Alright, time to go AFK again because uh, again, I'm not I'm not looking at the computer. I'm just going to go AFK for about five more minutes, I guess. Alright, just came back. I placed down a farm in gold panel just right now and I'm pretty much Gucci. Actually, I'm not Gucci. I need to get more gold panels. I cannot focus on farms right now because uh, I'm starting to lose because of the dreaded uh, gold, uh, the Necro Macer spam, and that is a huge problem because, well, when you get spam IDs, you lose to uh, to normal zombies because there's so much damn lag that the gold panels just no longer work properly. You just they just turn to dirt or garbage. I don't know how how it works, and the simple answer is just lag, pretty much, just lag runes and kills you at the same time but i'm doing pretty good i don't need to worry about uh soldier because well soldier is now dirt useless to me it's actually cheaper to go like this with golden panels just start spamming away golden panels but yeah it's actually cheaper to go like this rather than trying to upgrade it into max tier because max tier for the same price you can do a lot more damage with a bunch of cheap golden commandos so note to self if you ever have a golden commando do that do that type first but of course for self detection it's actually cheaper to invest with a uh better golden panel than trying to invest with uh, a bunch of goggles seeking commandos. Oh uh, crap, that boss there has a crap ton of HP. Uh, I'm going to respond with more golden commandos. And only have 15 towers, so now... There we go, I, sh I shredded that boss 3 pretty damn fast. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, so now we're pretty much solid. Gonna buy that for the future, and I got the, the uh, DJ cash cash reduction bonus, which is already helping me out by a long shot. Damn, I, only have, I can only have that many towers, so I'm not going to invest in the farms too much. Now all my cash, pretty much most of my cash resources are just going to come from strictly from zombies, which is still not a bad idea either because I have so much defense. I have so much solid defense. I invested way less into defense than this dude, than into farmers and max zeds, and I'm doing pretty solid myself too, so yeah, victory royale all the time. But now i got to start investing in uh, tier 3 dudes, I mean uh, tier 4 golden commandos because uh, well, I can't buy any more golden commandos that are tier 1, so pretty pointless going to go in try and purchase more when you can't do that okay there we go now the game doesn't look doesn't look like he's on a goddamn uh wii u that's all lagging and stuff now it looks actually playable i was actually afk most of the time and i'm doing pretty good i'm doing pretty good and i just spammed a bunch of regular commandos this is actually probably the best uh tactic for uh for a defense just spamming a bunch of tier 4 golden commandos because of price but the thing is that i would usually roll out a farm so i could get those max tier golden commandos as well you can still get them it's just that it would take a lot longer from the uh default spawn zombies that's why i typically don't like going to that route but if all comes worse worse and you didn't invest in the farms sooner because you went afk like me it is okay to do this as well cool i invested all my cash in golden commandos and a dj gave me at the 20 percent fire rate and 20 percent reduction so yeah i'm doing pretty gucci uh, he's doing cl clearly better than me, but then again, he bought a lot more, so... I'm shredding boss 3's pretty dang fast. I'm shredding way faster than the max going commando. And for the same price, I got all of these right here. Or maybe a bit more for all these golden commandos, but still generally the same price. So now, to talk about rushing this dude, the only way to rush him really is with boss 3. Just boss 3, just boss 3 spam. Stealth boss is not a bad choice either, because they can't do any damage here, but... This laser bullet command is the most annoying thing right here. That is a lot of Zeds, and it will take about six stealth dudes in order to kill it. So not too bad considering that a boss three takes only two, but you invest like nearly double the cash of the stealth dudes. 
and you probably need to buy three boss threes because well boss threes can get tar can get targeted by the zeds while stealth bosses cannot so i'm definitely gonna be spamming stealth bosses not boss threes plus in my case it would be better to go with stealth bosses because i'm poor so fun fact this dude could actually beat my ass down with boss three because i'm struggling on default uh, boss three and the, and the boss four is looking to push in that's pretty cool so i'm struggling over here He's over there balling because he has so many damn Zeds. If I had all these max golden medals, I would, I would be spawn killing. Okay, I think this is a, no, this is not the way where to avoid spawns. But I'm gonna sell both of these farms because it's no longer uh, smart to keep him. I would rather just have him for the extra golden medal space. I'm gonna put that right there, put that right there, and put that right there, and there we go. We're pretty much solid now. Cool. No more farm bonus, but it doesn't really matter too much. So. Oh, I'm losing because these normal spam necromacers are getting very annoying. I'm going to buy a Pog's Rave because I'm getting pretty desperate at this point. They're pushing too much and I've done exactly zero damage to the boss threes. Yeah, I'm going to buy this uh, this uh, Pog's Rave thing and then do that ability. That's going to buy me about one second time. Not really worth my investment. Now, after I just did that, now I regret doing that. The boss threes are just going to push in. And, oh, wait. I can over that commando. Oh wait, I could also over that commando. Cool, now doing more damage. Let me just make sure I don't have any normie golden medals. Nope, they're all turret now. Uh, boss threes, I don't think they should be able to get in, but the thing is I'm worried about the rest of this. No, wait, no, this all looks cheap. If that dude responded with boss threes right now, I would have been dead. So now I'm starting to push back, which is good. No more lag. Boss fours are just gonna push in a bit, but not really too work because it's just garbage tower. I mean, like, garbage zombies on the back. He already spawn killed them all, but no oh crap, he has gotten in void walkers. And he might be looking to rush me with boss threes, and I cannot respond now, because I went AFK most of the time. I probably would have been, been able to boss three rush him right now, but the thing is, I was AFK most of the time. So that's great. I'm pretty much spawn killing, and he is pretty much spawn killing as well. I might be doing a better job than him. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to be be doing a better job than me, so I'll just kill that boss four. He's still struggling. Yeah, I'm doing better than him. Yeah, he has void walkers. I'm doing way better than him. Yeah, he has void walker span. That is wild. That is amazing right there. I'm just going to focus on defense and on wave 38. I'm going to save cash and just spam boss threes because I want to kill this dude. Because I'm don't. i not going to be able to beat the void. I don't have all my max going commandos. Right. Well, I can't beat the void, but I just don't feel like it. And no, don't tell me, well, sweet, you could get 50 plus credits. I don't care about the credits. I have like... 12,000 who cares? I, I have 13,000 who cares this dude is going for nothing but phaser spam that is actually not a bad choice uh so i can counter phaser spam with lightning dudes but the thing is he has zez just patrolling so, so yeah boss three is not too sure about it but i might because they're just going for stealth bosses because stealth bosses seem like the best better now boss three they just cost too much and just get too many cons so i'm gonna go with stealth rush for sure i guess phasers can still target self but thing is that they are just going to shred the boss threes and I'm going to invest way too much cash to a boss three rush and just to simply fell faster. So, you know, I'm still pushing and he, he's out here. I think I think he's doing better than me. Yeah, he's doing way better than me because because the zombies are like way over here. While for me, they're already goddamn near the gold medals. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy one more max gold medal and I think I'm safe pretty much. I don't need to invest more into gold medals because I need to save some money now for the uh, stealth rush. Actually, I'm going to max out some more gold medals and then, yeah, because I just realized that I'm going to get so much cash from the void itself and I'll also the crap it spawns so i don't even worry about that too much because i want to make back my cash cool void just spawning well that ruins the purpose of this video trying to win but only rushing with uh with you know rushing play within five ways but the thing is that this lasts all the way to the damn void all right so boss force are way over here as for him the boss force are getting pushed back actually because I think it's because, yeah, the Phaser Spam is definitely helping by a long shot. And if I send a boss threes, they're just going to get shredded with, along with the Zed Spam as well. Uh, Phasers lose to Lightning Dudes, so I'm pretty sure they will lose to Stealth Boss as well. Guardians are being deployed, and right now is the perfect time to go ahead and send in my Stealth Bosses. Because he's going to be struggling going in and kill... Ah, crap, I just... Oh, man, that boy is, is having a stroke right now. And it's going to shred everything in half. Nice, nice. That's what's up. That's... That's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, just stun everything I have in existence. 
Oh yeah, I forgot his dads are dead. And my self are just gonna cruise by. Nice, nice, nice. And if he tries to stealth rush me, it's not gonna work. I have golden commandos, boy. Yeah, I'm gonna put in that uh, stun ability right now for a DJ. It, do it doesn't affect the Void. I don't know if it affects the Guardians. No, it does not affect the Guardians. Nope, just affects Normies. And Soul Bosses are looking to push in, but now we're getting shredded by Golden Panels after that boss four was just killed. As for him, let's go and see how, how he's doing. My Soul Bosses are, are, are actually going in. They're, go they're going in by a long shot. They're all the way over here. His Flamethrower can get onto them, but the problem is that the Flamethrower doesn't detect stealth at all whatsoever. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to buy another Max Golden Panel because it doesn't matter if I buy one. The Stealth Bosses are just so cheap. I can make my my money easily with uh, with a purchase of a max golden commando. So yeah, I'm not really too worried about becoming poor. Yeah, Zeds for sure just are just gonna roll uh, over my my uh, my self bosses. But if I deployed boss threes, the boss three would have been probably shredded down to like 1,000 health or or something. And just for the cost value, that is not worth it. Great, I'm gonna spam the death now. Okay, maybe I should be focusing on uh, defense now. Ah, crap. Nice. That's what's up. It's one zero zero. It's one zero zero. Again, another another stun. Come on. Come on. I could buy one stealth boss. I, I, that's it though, because if I buy another one, I won't be able to have enough for a max going metal. I think I lost. Oh, no, we did not. No, wait. Why did I sell a regular command? That was stupid. Damn it, I lost. That was our first legit defeat, I think. Yeah, I lost because mostly because of lag. But yeah, that was our our legit defeat I have ever recorded. So props to this dude. I lost because of stupid lag. But nonetheless, that was a GG. No re. I almost won too because my stealth boss rush. But uh, I lost in the ultimate because all my towers were close to each other and the void just stunned them all in two seconds.